Hello, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today for the fourth annual XR Access Symposium. I'm Larry Goldberg, head of, former head of accessibility at Yahoo and co-founder of the XR Access Initiative. You know, it seems like a lifetime ago when Professor Shiri Azenkot of Cornell Tech contacted me to propose a small gathering of interested academics, industry representatives and advocates to discuss how to make virtual reality accessible to people with disabilities. Look at how far we've come from that very first contact. You Sherry? Yeah, it's been quite an incredible journey. Um, in the last few years, we've really grown a lot. We have dozens of XR Access members. We have hundreds of attendees at this year's symposium and also in previous symposiums. Uh, we have quite a few working groups that actively meet and make progress towards their goals. And we have quite a few interesting collaborations with companies and organizations all around the world. I'd really like to thank a few organizations uh, without whom this wouldn't have been possible. Yahoo, Cornell Tech, and Pete, the Partnership for Employment and Accessible Technology. Uh, without them, we wouldn't have been able to put on this symposium, all of the talks and conversations and deep dives that you'll be participating in over the next few days. So thank you very much for that. Well, we, all, we also want to thank Verizon and Google for providing funding to cover the cost of the accommodations for the symposium. Uh, the accommodations you'll learn more about in the coming minutes uh, and throughout the two days. Now, I'm going to share a few tips on how to get the most engaging experience out of this event and how to stay in touch. You can communicate with us and ask questions during the event in our symposium Slack channel. And I'm going to give the address now. It is bit.ly slash xraccess hyphen symposium hyphen Slack. So please join if you haven't already. We have almost 350 people there already. You can follow us on Twitter at XR Access. Visit us at www.xraccess.org. And you can email us at info at xraccess.org. Closed captioning is available by clicking on the closed caption button on the bottom of your screen. And now I'd like to outline our agenda for today. It's a wonderful packed agenda. Today on day one, we have right now our greeting and kickoff. And in a couple of minutes, we'll have our opening remarks. At around 10.20 a.m., we're going to talk about the importance of this XR Access initiative, followed by, at 10.25, a session called XR Access, Present and Future. At 10.35, we'll have a keynote. Inclusive XR at Scale, the nth floor. Very cool session I'm looking forward to. We'll have a break at 11.15 a.m. We'll be back at 11.30 a.m. for a session on inclusive VR media and entertainment. I can't wait for that one. At 12.05, testing and feedback with disabled users, one of the most important principles of what we are all doing. We'll have a break at 12.40 p.m. Uh, lunch, breakfast, or wherever you are in the world. We'll be back at 12.55 p.m. And these are all times at ET, if you haven't already gotten that. At 12.55, we'll be talking about accessible XR for training and collaboration. Then at 1.30 p.m., creators with disabilities. Followed by a break at 2.05 p.m. Back at 2.20 p.m. for research to practice in XR accessibility. And finally, at 2.55 p.m., we'll have a wrap-up session for the day, looking ahead, and we'll give you a little brief intro, intro to day two, coming tomorrow. Now, I'd like to uh, talk about a personal note here. Though I recently moved on from Yahoo after eight amazing, wonderful years, I want to say that this initiative has been one of the most significant and meaningful projects of my entire career. 
I'll be staying on as an advisor, as a supporter, and a connector. I'm always going to be looking for ways to advance our goals, uh, gain sustainable support, add resources, and spread the word about the critical nature of this initiative. Over the next few days, you'll be meeting some of the key people who have driven XR Access's accomplishments. And before I go, I want to say thank you to my co-founder, Shiri Azenkot, and to the key members of the planning team, Dylan Fox, Jesse Taft, Bill Curtis Davidson, Ashley Coffey, the entire Yahoo Events team, and to all the workstream leaders who have generously volunteered their time to achieve our shared goals. So thank you all. You've been amazing. Sherry? Yes, and I would definitely like to thank you, Larry, as well. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Um, and this is not goodbye. I look forward to having you to be continually involved in the initiative um, and in our mission and goals. So now I'd like to go ahead and get us started on the events of the day. I'm very honored to introduce our first speaker, Taryn McKenzie-Williams, the Assistant Secretary of Labor for Disability Employment Policy.